just arrived at the main train station. I've only seen this in movies. Say hi. Off the train. Uh, 2008 attack, controlling the whole Mumbai. Bullet holes. I feel good to it's a surreal experience. Coming down. Just arrived at the main train station. Doesn't look like Houston or Piccadilly. Looks like the entrance to a theme park. I'm not sure if any of you watched the movie Lion. It's about this young boy who gets lost in an Indian train station. It feels like I'm living in that movie. Some new subscribers here in the train station, say hi! Surreal scene, looking at this old train. Wow, I've only seen this in movies. People go on the train to say goodbye to their relatives and in the last minute they jump off. I've just been watching that, absolutely fascinating. Definitely not as punctual as the Swiss trains. We were supposed to leave four minutes ago and our train hasn't even arrived. Our train is arriving. The Express has just... This is going to be a memorable Bye, journey. Gosh. All right, this is going to be my bed for the next 17 hours. First impressions of this train is great. They've given us a complimentary litre bottle of water. Very nice touch. One thing I would say, people on this train are extremely friendly. Everyone's just so nice to each other. Yeah, three, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> Another pleasant surprise. Just got a fresh set of bedding. Quite luxurious, this train. Unfortunately, I can't have the onboard meal, but it looks like they've got some delicious meals down there. My neighbours. Well, this journey is 17 hours, 1,200 kilometers from Agra to Mumbai. Um, yeah, hopefully there's no delays, and yeah, we'll get in time for Shabbos into Mumbai. Quick train tour. So it has two beds on this side, one up and one down, and then you have on this side you have uh, four beds two like a bunk bed over there and a lot of two down there quite narrow corridor going through hello so behind me is a mini kitchen where they do the hot meals just basically like a plate okay i'd be lying if it's not good in here this is the bathroom it looks more like a sink but yeah if you need to do stuff you need to be very good at squatting extra food last night in Chabad in New Delhi so we have something to eat on the train now. I'm not sure if this is the best schnitzel I've ever tasted or I'm starving. It's super yeshivish. It's chinah in a pita bread with schnitzel here in the middle of India on a train. get a seat if you're not in business or first so this is very luxurious it's 10 o'clock at night i'm gonna try and sleep a bit two hours later just woke up to send up my daughter and i'm heading back to bed now my back is hurting a bit from this bed but yeah it's okay Traveled from Agra to Mumbai, and in Agra there's no Chabad. So we found in New Delhi someone who's selling Pringles, the OU Heksha. He especially gets it for the Jewish tourists, 
so they can have some kosher food on their travels. Wow, it's nice to move around. Looking forward to see some nice views from the window. Let me quickly tell you about this vlog sponsor, NYC Designer Outlet. All the latest items from brands such as Ferragamo, Tom Ford, Todd's, including Stefano Ricci ties, at an unbeatable price. Go check out the website, the link will be in the description. They deliver everywhere in the US and hopefully soon worldwide. So check them out. Out the window, it looks like we're in England countryside. Very, very green scenes. But it's all about we're going to explore other parts of the train now. Just made it to the first class cabins, which was booked up, so we couldn't get it. But I'm happy we did second class. Great experience. Lovely people. Very friendly. Very interesting. Now I'm on the third class part of the train. Yeah, I think I'm glad I didn't do this part. In that carriage is the kitchen. They stopped me from videoing, but it does look like a kitchen. I feel like I'm in Shulen Khazarasa Shat because the people working here are going around collecting stock and getting tips. Let me show you around my bed. So over here we have a charger socket. Over here you have somewhere to put your stuff. We've got a light. We've got an air vent. Oh, wow, wow. If you think the beds are small, my friend is six foot three and he managed to sleep in it, no problem at all. My roommate has got off on an earlier stop, so I've got the space now to Davin Shakris. journey slightly getting a bit bored we just passed the second to last stop next stop Mumbai after 18 hours on this train I think we're finally pulling up to the platform here in Mumbai well that's an experience I'm not gonna forget in a short time and we are off the train thank you, thank you. Ah, it's quite good to be walking around here in Mumbai originally known as Bombay very 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 hot 30 degrees around 25 degrees warmer than yesterday in Agra as far as I can see I think we were the only non-Indian people on that train but yeah they treated us like if we were their fellow Indians first impression of Mumbai it looks like they have a lot better life here as opposed to New Delhi and Agra people are dressed better the streets look better Behind me is only one small part of the station and it's massive. One of the biggest train stations I've ever seen. And all the kids are going home from school because it's a Friday. Uh, Deepa. Deepa. Deepa is 69 years old and he doesn't look at it. A day older than 35. And that's because he goes swimming every day, he eats healthy. Yeah, swimming helps you a lot. So yeah, swimming. Keep me fit. Wow. Uh, you're going for some work or something? And holiday, touring. Need some help, you need some tips I can give you. Just nothing. Thank you. A huge difference from New Delhi and Agra, here in Mumbai the streets are so much more orderly, proper roads, not so much hooting and beeping, much better. Just arrived on our street where we'll be staying with Shabbos, it's only a few minute walk from Kabad. Because it's Friday, everyone is going in to pray. Coming from? Uh, New Delhi. New Delhi, okay. Are you from? Uh, New York. So when coming into Indian Hotel, the bellboy will take you to his room, it's happened to us twice now, and then he'll stick around and start showing us every single random little part of the room until you give him a tip. So if you want him to go, just give him 50 rupees and he'll be on his way. <laughs> Mumbai is very famous, more like infamous, for the 2008 attack which happened here in Mumbai when 10 extreme terrorists came over by boat from Pakistan and attacked 12 different locations one being the Khabad house which we're about to visit among the attacks was a hospital, a cafe and the famous Taj Mahal Palace Hotel killing 150 people at least and another 180 wounded the attack started on a Wednesday and until the police the army can get control of the situation it took until Shabbos three days of these 10 people literally controlling the whole Mumbai. And behind me 
me this is the famous Chabad house. Right. Open, open we just got here in time so we can quickly have lunch. We have starved, we haven't eaten a proper meal since Wednesday night and now it's Friday afternoon. In this very room, the Chabad Shaliach and his wife were brutally killed. You can see bullet holes and explosive holes. It's left exactly how it was from 2008. This huge hole behind me is an RPG, a rocket powered grenade hole from the terrorists. In this window behind me, you can see the Taj Palace, one of the targeted places in the terrorist attack. This was the place where Rifki and Gavriel Holzberg were killed brutally. And their son Moshi was sleeping at the time. The nanny ran into the room, took him out, and ran out. And that's how he survived. Being 10 years old at the time of the attack here, I remember looking into the Hamadiyya newspaper and seeing pictures. And I was really taken back by the whole attack and just over 12 years later actually being in the place where it happened is a surreal experience. On the roof of the Nyman house this is where the famous picture is of the marine helicopter coming down to take control of the situation. They pretty much left everything exactly how it was to give a real impression of what happened those years ago worth coming to Mumbai just for this memorial. Very, very heartwarming. And on the wall opposite the Nyman house, you can see oh circled in red the bullet holes from the attack. It's amazing how the price for Chabad in different countries changes so much. In Tokyo, we paid for supper for one person, $60. Over here, we paid for lunch for three of us, $20. I mean, obviously, India is a lot cheaper than Japan, and that's why. 20 times nicer than New Delhi and Agra. Proper streets, much cleaner, much nicer. And it's evident from the prices of the hotels here are like three, four times the price because of that. Good Shabbos from here in Mumbai. And I'll let you know what we get to see on Shabbos here in the city.